Hi guys, so for this video I'm using cotton and the crochet hook in size 2.5 millimeters. So I'll start by making a slip knot and then I'll chain seven. Right there to the last chain from the hook I'll make a slip stitch. And now I'll chain five. Then right there to that same loop I'll make one single crochet. I'll chain two. Then through that same loop I'll make one double crochet. So I'll repeat this until I have 12 double crochets in total. On the first day of Christmas my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Three French hens, two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five golden rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. So now that we have 12 double crochets, I'll chain 2, then right there through that third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row 1, and then I'll chain 3. Then right there through that same loop, I'll make 4 double crochet cluster. This one already counts as 1, so 2, 3, and 4. And now I'll chain three. Then through the next two chain space I'll make four double crochet cluster. I'll chain three. Then through the next two chain space I'll make four double crochet cluster. I'll chain three. So we repeat this throughout row two. finish off the second row, I will chain three, then right here to the top of this double crochet cluster I'll make a slip stitch. Now in this next chain I'll make a slip stitch and through this next three chain space I'll make a slip stitch. And now I will chain three, then right here through this two chain space I'll make three double crochet cluster. This one already counts as one. And then I'll chain nine. Then through the fourth chain from a hook I'll make a slip stitch. 
I'll chain four. Through that same chain, I'll make one slip stitch. I'll chain four. Through that same chain, I'll make a slip stitch. And now I'll chain five. Then through the next three chain space, I'll make three double crochet cluster. I'll chain nine. Through the fourth chain from a hook, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain four. Through the fourth chain from a hook, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain four. Through the fourth chain from a hook, I'll make a slip stitch. And now I'll chain five. Then through the next three chain space, I'll make three double crochet cluster. I'll chain nine. Then through the fourth chain from a hook, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain four. Through that same chain, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain four. Through that same chain, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain five. Through the next three chain space, I'll make Three double crochet cluster. So we repeat this throughout this row. So now to finish off, after we have made this last set of picots, I'll chain five. Then right there through this uh, top of this next picot, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain one, then I'll cut this yarn.